From time to time, a hemipineal prolapse can happen in adult male chameleons. Let us see one case which ended up positively without the necessity of veterinary intervention. So this is a typical case of averted male copulatory organ which is called hemipenis in chameleons. This happens from time to time uh, while they are training how to inflate the uh, cavernous uh, uh, spaces inside to, to make it bigger and sometimes it happens when they try to copulate. In this case there was a, an unsuccessful copulation that left the hemipenis out of the cloaca. So it is, uh, it is uh, moist, it is vivid, it is not dry, everything is fine and we will now try to reposit it back to the cloaca. So as you can see the averted hemipenis and its pocket which is situated right here is empty, you can feel it. So what can happen is that the uh, retractor muscle which is actually uh, pointed to that, that, that point and should uh, retract the uh, hemipenis back to the pocket is somehow not functioning. So we might try first with a slight massage to loosen the area uh, so that there is no uh, spasm. He does not like it of course, but that's fine. Now let us check the second hemipenis on the opposite side. It's just fine. It seems totally fine. You see the cloacal opening is, is free. The male is absolutely in perfect condition. So we need to get it back. Look. Okay. So the first thing we can do and we should try to do is to put some water at, and it should be a cold water with some sugar on the hemipenis. You know, the water must be of course cold because if it is hot or if it is warm, the difference of the body temperature of the chameleon and the water would be would be uh, too big and the chameleon could, could get a, a thermal shock, which we uh, want to avoid, of course. Yeah? Now, we make the surface of the, uh, of the hemipenis moist uh, with the hope that it will react a little bit spasmically. It means that it, it, it reacts a little bit. It, it becomes a little bit smaller, as you can see. Uh, and it gets a little bit more tough because because it reacts on the on the sugar the sugar is actually helping to like get out the excessive moisture which is unnecessary from the organ so that it can shrink a little bit you see and we massage it gently but steadily and you can see it it, it shrinks a little bit piece by piece yeah. The organ, uh, uh, the copulatory organ of chameleons actually, of all reptiles, is actually filled in with lymph, not with, uh, not with um, blood, uh, despite of the fact that this is quite nicely red now, as we can see, it is actually filled with lymph. And we try to make it smaller and push it gently back to the cloaca. So, what you can see is that through this gentle massage, the averted, prolapsed hemipenis shrank significantly. It uh, lost a little bit also the vivid red coloration because of the uh, decreased content of blood and lymph inside. Uh, it can happen that you succeed to massage it back to the hemipineal pocket or like in our case it shrinks but it does not slice back to the pocket. In the case that the hemipenis does not slice back into the hemipineal pocket, don't panic. In our case, uh, the hemipenis looks quite healthy. It is not injured, it is intact. So that the 
chance that uh, the reposition will happen spontaneously uh, is quite high and we have helped with the massage uh, as far as we could so uh, we will give another try to the uh, influence of the sugar water we will soak a piece of cotton in the same sugar water and wrap it around and fix it with a tape and allow a couple of hours the best is overnight to uh, uh, interact next morning the chameleon watched the owner unwrapping the mandash and uh, was lucky to see the chloracle opening clean and the hemipenis back in the hemipenial pocket the next case was not so happy because the sugar water and uh, massage did not work for another chameleon and its hemipenis had to be surgically removed while the chameleon saved its life and uh, was not a subject of euthanasis. Please care for your chameleon well. For the hemipenial health, of course, hydration is the key. We see much less problems with hemipenis, be it the plaques or be it uh, the problems with aversion or with its retraction back when the animals are hydrated properly, specifically when they are exposed to nighttime fogging. But of course, supplementation, food, lighting, proper temperature and proper caging are also factors that positively influence the health of chameleons as such. Stay tuned.